Hello and welcome to the gaming scene ladies and gentlemen. I am your host Connor as usual and today I'm bringing you a review of the newly released Counter Strike Global Offensive game. Now before I kick off the review there's one point I would like to make and that is that I'm not really a fantastic competitive shooter player. So most of the views I give you from this game are from the bottom of the leaderboards and I can't really give you a tournament sort of level review of this game because I don't play anything like that. I play it you know just casual play online so I have played a lot of hours and can give you a definite um, feel of the mechanics and sort of gameplay from that side but I cannot give you a fully fully competitive level and as just a warning most of the clips in this game will involve a lot of me dying but aside from that let's kick off with the review and let's kick off with the story section except the story section in this game doesn't really exist because it's a multiplayer based game so the story section basically boils down to there are terrorists doing bad stuff including capturing hostages and making bombs and you know exploding bombs and the counter-terrorists try and stop them but this old story is the story is there to set up two teams for this game and well that is there is no backstory there's nothing like that it's literally that's all that you can really put in the story section it does its job it gives you two teams that's all there is that's all anybody needs to know end of story so let's move on to gameplay now gameplay this is a multiplayer based game you can play a single player um, you can play with bots uh, which is basically this exactly the same as multiplayer but you replace the human opponents with bots now the bots do uh, give you a good scope of difficulty very easy and very hard anywhere in between now very hard are incredibly hard probably rivaling some of your really good online players and very easy is like you know playing against your two year old brother online so there, d there is a good scope to practice against and it's always good to see single player bots in there in a multiplayer based game just to give you a bit of practice and just to be able to give you some gameplay if you don't have the internet or something like that so you can uh, continue playing so it is good to see you know, that they have included it in there it's a pretty standard affair but it is nice to have, them have it in there um, but it is basically exactly the same as multiplayer with just AI instead. So if I have anything I re refer to from now on in the multiplayer game does exist for the bots, but I will simply refer it to as the multiplayer. Now the multiplayer has four different game modes. There, um, in three of these game modes, it's a sort of um, you shoot, you get shot, you die, you do not respawn. So they're a very competitive based game modes. There's demolition where you the opponents are trying to fulfill the objectives. If I mention objectives in this game, objectives consist of capturing hostages or um, blowing up bombs. And so they're the only objectives that currently exist in the game. Um, so if you whilst you're trying to uh, fulfill objectives every time you get a kill you get the next gun up in rank. You, everybody starts with the same gun. When you get a kill uh, in the next round you get the next gun. And so that's a sort of progressive gun building up level. Um, there's also competitive gameplay where you, where friendly fire is on. Um, you know, you have to buy arms kits, you have to buy armor, you have to buy, you know, pretty much everything. And it's basically the most difficult, most competitive style. And then there's of course there's casual where friendly fire is off. Um, you, you, you're given armor to start with, you're given defuse kits, you're given all the basically the base equipment that you need and you just simply have to sort out your weapon and then besides that there is the arms race which consists of where everybody starts on the same gun similar to demolition and as every kill you get you build up you get a new gun but this happens as soon as you get the kill rather than at the end of the round as in demolition so basically you build up and you build up and the first person to get to the last gun their team wins except for this one you respawn which is uh, really nice to see. Now, personally, I would have liked to have seen more game types where you respawn, but, you know, that's just a personal gripe. There's uh, This game is built competitively, and most competitive game players don't play respawning games because you can run in without any concern for your life and just shoot your gun everywhere, and that really discourages competitiveness. So, most people do play un uh, do play no respawn modes, um, and so, yeah, that's the game modes out now. Now, the gameplay itself is pretty balanced. I have to say, this is this is obviously based on the previous Counter Strike games, and those Counter Strike games have a really great experience, uh, you know, sort of balancing everything. So, all the guns are really balanced, from the pistols to the machine guns. Everything has its own use. Pistols are extremely accurate. Assault rifles kind of in the middle. Light machine guns have got like lots of bullets and some machine guns fire really really quickly and there's you know grenades they're all pretty balanced a grenade won't blow everybody in the entire team up it's a pretty weak affair um, and every, basically every weapon is really balanced um, 
all the maps themselves are also fantastically balanced. Um, you know, there's no there's no really point in which you can control. There are points that people fight over, but they're mainly to do with the bombs, and that's going to happen in every map. It's pretty difficult to design a flawless map, but this game is really, really balanced. You could tell they've used a lot of previous experience to create this game, and it really suits off well. I could pick up any gun I like, and I still wouldn't be playing amazingly better than what I should, probably should be playing at, which is always nice to see, because... In other games, there's a weapon that kind of kills everybody, and there's weapons that are really useless and never used. Everybody used every weapon in this game. I certainly did, and found none of the weapons. I preferred some, but there was none that really gave me a major advantage, which is good to see. But this game is really, really built to competitiveness. There's, there's small little things, like, for example, each area. When you move between areas, the name there's a little name for each area in the corner. So if you want to give a quick shout-out, it will say middle corridor um, high for example and everybody will know exactly where you are and you can you know you can bring your teammates in when you start each round because on the no respawn games it's not just a no respawn everybody dies the game ends um, in these no respawn games you know you do have it out of a certain amount of rounds like 10 20 30 depending on what game type you're playing and at the start of each round you're given some money now with this money this money can be built from either killing enemies you know surviving the round losing you get a boost for losing you know just kind of even the score a bit another example of everything evening the score um, and of course winning you get money and with this money you can buy new weapons at the start of each round you can hit the buy menu you have about a minute to buy new weapons for that round and weapons that you want to use for that round so you know each there was one problem I did find with the weapons and the, you know this buy system in the fact that the counter terrorists have a separate like set of guns that they can use to the terrorists so there are a few guns in the for example the counter terrorists an uh, example being the famas which could do burst fire that you couldn't find in the counter in the terrorists and so I was a bit frustrated that I kind of none of I didn't really like most of the guns in the terrorist section so I always wanted to be a counter terrorist but that doesn't work you constantly you're constantly switching between and you have to play both so the game gives you you know a fair shot of both set of weapons but you know each each section has advantages for example uh, terrorists start off with a much better pistol than counter terrorists counter terrorists have one of the better rifle have a personally one of the better cheap rifles compared to the um, terrorists so each has its advantages and overall it balances out pretty decently everything is pretty balanced and well what can I say it's a very balanced game the the radar gives you you know a view of the enemy so no enemies can camp camping in this game is almost impossible don't even bother trying it um, because they will find you they will kill you and it'll be quick these games and there is the time limit for each game isn't long so if you camp that's it you run out of time and you lose um, so you know you know everything's balanced the radar shows you where you are if you wait for you know if you shoot bullets and that so it you know you can get a good view of everything and it is a very balanced game so the gameplay of this game is really solid built off the counter strike original games it's a really really solid game fantastic for competitive play fantastic for non competitive play probably could use a few more respawn game types but that's a personal preference anyway let's move on to the graphics section now the graphics section i don't know whether this is true or not but i believe the graphics are far better than what they were in the original counter strike games the graphics look very pretty i had a few animation issues for example gun backwards but that can happen in any game overall the graphics were really good looking the guns looked fantastic the animations were fantastic the maps looked fantastic you know the environment you're in looked very nice and was different um, different different areas that you know you can get really different maps to give you a different sort of feel when you play and you know everything worked really nicely it was a very good you know very solid graphics to play on it was very nice to play on it's very easy on the eye and just sits really really well so it's a it was a really real joy to play on and that's the same with the sound really the sound is you know it's a gun so at the end of the day there's a limited amount of sound you can use but the sound overall is pretty nice um it, it does its job, you can hear the enemies, they make the right sounds when they need to, you know, the sound is right, the sound is good, it's, you know, they have the Counter-Strike engine, uh, the previous Counter-Strike games, and they haven't removed anything that shouldn't be removed, um, which is really good to see, because you have seen a few games in the past, you know, sort of have a system and then they just deconstruct it no they haven't done this they've kept everything that's good and they've really built on it by increasing the graphics you know they haven't removed any of the balancing 
everything balanced is perfectly fine, and it's all really good to see. But what about multiplayer? Well, because this game's multiplayer, this section is quite important. Now, personally, I found that playing on the community servers was much better. Now, the community servers can be modded. Counter Strike encourages this modding, so community servers, it does say when you go onto them that this could be a different experience, different maps from the base game, so if you have any problems, they can't really do much because they're community servers. The community do what they like with them. But I found them better because personally the latency was so much better on those servers than it was on the official servers. Now the official servers weren't terrible, but I had a few problems when I was trying to record and, you know, play at the same time and it was it was just a bit awkward, so I prefer the community servers. The bot servers were probably fine, you had no issues with that. Um, but the multiplayer servers were really good and there were really, you know, there was a really wide version of games. As I said, most people didn't play Arms Race, but you could find games on it there. Um, to get the servers had a wide variety. There is a few problems with the multiplayer as the players themselves, and that is with every shooter game. You're going to get the people who whine, the people who complain about everything going, and that is true for this game as well. But you just ignore them, you get on with your game, and you shoot them, and you laugh at them when they're dead, and they complain. So, the multiplayer really is quite fantastic as well, which is really, really nice to see. And so, what do I give this game overall? You mean, I, I've I've basically said I've really liked it so far. Well, I have to get it. I give this game a 9 out of 10. Why do I give it a 9 out of 10? Well, I don't know. I just... I can't give it a 10 out of 10 because for me I wanted a few more respawn game times and probably I was a bit soured because of the fact that I was really really bad at it so that removes one mark, I can't be too harsh, that removes one mark but you know the pros, it's a really fantastic competitive shooter it's, you know, the graphics look really gorgeous, the sound is perfectly fine, the multiplayer is perfectly fine, it encourages modding which is really good um, and you know the gameplay is really balanced and anybody can play and you know the people with good skill shine, the people with bad skill, like me, don't shine and you're never going to get it where it flips for some unknown reason because I've used the right gun and he's used the wrong gun which is really fantastic to see. So this game, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, gets a 9 out of 10 from me. That's this review finished guys and that is Connor out.